Hi guys, I've got this uh, Terraforma sump guard offline. Um, been doing more and more green laning and I've decided that I kind of want that little bit of protection. Uh, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, there's been between a debate of, of the Terraforma or uh, Brick Park, which is a smaller one. The, the main, well, this did win in the debate, but uh, the main, main other reason I got it is because the Brick Park ends around here because it is just your front. As this does combine as a steering slash sump guard and it goes all the way, hence the complete length of it right down to the floor and you can't quite see it. Um, that doesn't mean obviously it's a little bit heavier, being 22 kilos I think it says on that. So more weight and more fuel, but I'd rather pay a little bit more fuel and have less damages to the underneath. Um, so I'm just going to unpackage it now, have another quick look at it, and then I will do a sort of go through video of uh, fitting it. It's fairly straightforward, it's, it's literally bolt on, you do have to take a little bit of plastic off the front of the uh, truck, but other than that, it's fairly straightforward. So uh, we'll unwrap it now and uh, just have a take, a take a closer look. Okay, so this is this is the steering slash sump card. As you can see, it's a fair size, good chunk of aluminium uh, with all the holes already in place. And presumably they all line up on the Discovery. And then they've obviously got the cutout for the towing eye, which is obviously very good if you're off-roading. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's nicely done for what it is. It's going to sit underneath the truck and get covered in mud, so. You know, you can't expect anything immaculate. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a go at putting it on. Okay, so if you have a Discovery, normally it will have a plastic cover over this, over the eye. Mine's already gone. It's, I've never actually had it on since since I bought it. Um, so there will be a cover here. I know it's a bit dark, but there'll be a cover here, and then there'll be some small little. Uh, mud flaps, front mud flaps on here, very small, but they so they undo by there's, there's four retaining clips on here. You just turn them a quarter turn and they'll drop out, and then you can literally pull this piece of plastic away. Um, and then under here, there will be three bolts, I believe, um, or three screws. There'll be two around here somewhere, they can come out, and then there's this one here that needs to come out. So this one needs to go back in. That's the main thing. Just remember to put that back in because it's holding part of your mud um, in the mud guard on. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, then we can line up the the guard. So you're going to need to take the original belly pan off, uh, which is the second one here. Uh, it's kind of sawn of, of bolts. No, they should all be 13, um, but the ones at the front here, they've actually. This is it silly really, the, the other side, the nut is welded to the chassis and this side, the nut seems to be loose. Don't know why. Um, and if I remember the last time I took it off, I think it was something like a 12 instead of both being 13, which is typically what would land over. Um, so I'm just gonna remove them now. So I've taken the original belly pan off. You may say, why Why am I taking this off? Why isn't this good enough? I mean, it, it is fine. It's just, when you look, you look at the thickness of that, that is the thickness of the and then you've got the thickness of the new guard. I mean, it's so much more robust. Plus, you're getting that extra lip up here in case you do go, if you're going up a steep hill or you drop into something, we, or like I did the other day, I dropped into a Ford and that was uh, a lot more of a drop than I anticipated. And uh, 
made a bit of a knock on the front. Having that on there, just as peace of mind, really. Uh, so I've taken these bolts out. They were quite easy to come out because I have had it off fairly recently, and I am um, copper eased all the bolts. Plus, I I don't know where I put it. Ugh. Over there, I've got the rattle gun, which makes life so much easier. Um, I believe, not that you can see, it's got some light going on. Um, I believe where those long bolts go is just um, that one there and that one there, because they are because the the um, pan is going to sit on that piece there, so it's going to go along here. So it's going to be quite the gap between these two. So presumably they're long enough to reach that, so I can have two secure bolts here. As the original one, as you can see, it, it, it domes up, so that fits into it. As this one is just completely flat. That's my guess. So we'll get this in um, and have a go and see if see if we can get it to line up. Also, I believe there's this this little oh, I can't see again. This little one. Oh, if it's going to behave, it's not. Come on, there we go. Right, so this little plate here, um, I mean, you could take it off, really, I suppose, because the, the, the guard's gonna come right up to here. Um, but I think I'm just gonna keep it on. But th there's two bolts that you have to take out uh, to get the original pan off. So I'm just gonna pop them two back in and then leave that there. If I need to take it off, I can take it off. It's not gonna be a complete problem. Okay, let's have a go at putting this on. Terraform, I don't send any um, fitting instructions. I did say it was uh, fairly straightforward, which in theory it is, um, just because you've got this extra bolt here and there isn't anything up here. Um, what I've presumed is that there's a hole here um, that I assume you attach to it. It looks like it's gonna line up about there. Um, so in the, they, they send you in the kit here these bolts. Presumably, you replace your original belly pan that you have with the Discovery. Um, but this is obviously just a bit bigger and uh, a bit stronger. So now I think I'm going to have to take that off under there. And then they, they give you... There isn't quite... There's, it's funny, there's seven bolts. Um, so... I don't quite know, there's more on there than there is here, but I guess if I take it off and size it up, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Um, so they give you these, and then they give you these spaces for the front, presumably. I believe they sit in, in there. And then they give you these um, nuts that have just been welded onto a bit of plate, which I'm guessing there's a, there's a gap. Um, you can kind of just about see it there. Where I presume, I'll probably put it in the other way to what I'm putting in currently now. Um, and then you have that as your nut to tighten up to. But the only thing that's confusing me at the moment, we've got these uh, Allen key head bolts, which are longer than these ones. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they go, because if I was to put them in this hole, which I would assume the front ones would have, this bottoms out, as presumably on the chassis that's on the other side. So whether that will work with the spacer, possibly, I suppose. Um, but I guess we'll just have, have a go and uh, see, see what happens. Yeah.
Okay, so what I've had to do, this um, uh, isn't as easy as I first said, which I probably is about right because I uh, said it wasn't easy. Um, the bolts really do seem to be just too short. Um, so as you can see, I've had to get a bottle jack on these pieces of wood um, to push this up to get it closer. I mean, it's, I'm still struggling now, and I've actually took some. I've got some bolts of my my own, um, and you can. Well, you can kind of see. The camera links up with you. That is about what you need, really. The the, the small one is just you're just pushing up far too much, and. I mean, it's, I mean, it's quite dangerous on your own, I suppose, but it probably would be easier with two people, but there's so much uh, pressure on there. Um, so I think I'm probably going to have to use this bottle jack nearly for all of them, because it's just... I don't know whether it's just not quite the shape of the Discovery. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but this seems to be up and on. I've... Um, so I've put, I've put my own my own bolt in, but kept with with the 17 mil bolt head on it, rather than the Allen key one. I'm still pretty sure that these are for the back one because they do actually thread in um, as the others um, I just go straight through the threaded original threaded belly pad. Um, so yeah, I've got the spaces in between. It's actually the there's the hole that I shoe to start with, that first hole closest to the wheel. That isn't the one, it's, it's the second one, and you'll see that when you light it up, it's quite obvious. Um, so just stick the, the nut that's welded onto that black plate, just stick that into, into your side of your chassis here. Um, I found it easier just, just, just to use a screwdriver um, and run it, and just to try and find it to locate it. It's a little bit difficult, as I say, on my own. Um, trying to hold that and put the screw in and make sure the, the bush doesn't fall out and jack jack up at the same time it's, it's a bit difficult but it's doable it just takes a little bit more time so I'm gonna have a go now at doing the other the other bolts at the back um, I don't know whether it's now slightly more in line I can use their bolts I'm not sure but I'm gonna have a go and well, do it again. Okay, so uh, there we have it. We've um, <laughs> got it on now. It's a bit of a 
bit of a pain. Uh, so I've got two of their um, smaller size bolts left over. Um, actually, that's a lie. I've, got, I've also got the two long Allen key head ones as well, which are under there. I forgot about them. Um, the holes that are there almost line up with the two longer or the depth ones, but they're slightly squiff. Perhaps one might, but the other one definitely doesn't. It, I'm not quite sure where that's slight manufacturing thing, I don't know. Um, I mean, I could drill some holes and um, then go up there, uh, but that can be tricky, being you don't know exactly where you're drilling, you could measure it and everything, but for what at the back you've got you've got two back there and they are tight they actually go into the self threaded ones that are original ones and uh, I, I feel that that's enough then there's two two more either side of um, yeah lower wishbones uh, which well the back of the further one should thread into the original nut that's there the, this left hand or driver's side one, it wouldn't, it wouldn't actually fit. It was slightly forward, and I tried to leverage it back and and try to do multiple things. But in the end, I don't know whether the threads are a little bit knackered as well in the actual um, welded in nut, which is a possibility. But I've decided that I definitely want one in there, so I drilled it out all the way through that old nut. Um, not ideal going on top of a nut, but it's welded in and I'm not going to gr bother grind all that out. So yeah, just done that, but obviously then you're going to need a longer bolt because you've got to go over that nut as well. So use the longer one for that. Uh, so yeah, the two fronts are with uh, nylon locks. And then the, the two absolute fronts with the bush and that. Uh, I'd recommend not using a rattle gun or too much leverage on these front ones because if that black um, bar with the nut welded to it, if, if, if that snaps, then, well, I don't know, you probably will just about get a spanner down there, but um, it's a lot easier if you don't have to do that. So I do them up tight, but do them with a spanner. Um, the other side did with a rattle gun. Uh, so, so they're tight. So there we have it. Um, we'll just show you a bit up closer. Do it. Um, I mean it looks bloody lovely, it really does, um, looks better than I thought it was going to actually which I'm quite pleased about, uh, if I just grab the light, you can see it uh, goes back just before your, your gearbox and transfer box uh, and then you can see that there's those two bolts there back one there I had trouble with but we got over that and then there's two further back there say so there's there's another four holes there the two end ones I'm not too sure about that feels like there should be a cut out there because that's right underneath the bush but hopefully that'll be right that's not terribly close um, and then say the two middle holes that's where I presume that the uh, long bolts would go through which are actually sitting down on the floor you might just be able to see them and uh, I'm gonna leave leave that for now and see, see how we get on I think that's fairly fairly well in there um, I'm pretty pleased with that actually it looks looks good looks good just come back here so hopefully that'll do me thanks for watching oh that oil leak that's not my lad driver. Surprisingly, I know, that's the old Jack. Can't believe it either.